Hi and welcome to Warframe. Today we're going to take a look at the Eltron. We we're not going to build this because after two and a bit weeks I've given up. I have no parts for this and the mission itself is just it's not as much the mission as it's a lot of the time the players, the randoms, they either leave or the game crashes or there's always something that stops you. But comparing the two, stat wise, yeah, it's exactly the same. But according to the wiki, it's not. So if you want, the, you're going to start with this one anyway, it's the first one you get. But if you want this one, you can get the blueprint for it. You will have to get the harness systems and wings, which are dropped from this mission, uh, yeah, on Uranus at round four and increments of four afterwards otherwise it's a case of 275 platinum to buy it only problem i've come across with this thing is it does come with two v polarities and that is a huge issue because if we go to the v polarity we have no v mods to put in it so it's it's set up for a certain kind of build I just really wish I knew what it was. If if they go by the uh, the Warframe mods, the V's are probably going to be power strength and power duration. No, power duration is a D because we do have that one. So I'm just hoping these two offer strength because this does have some pretty decent abilities to it. If you do come to farm this on uh, Uranus, be careful of that guy. He is big, powerful, and this is why we stuck with the rifle rather than the shotgun. Oh, man down, man down! Are you... where are you? Uh oh, uh oh, oh let me... I'm dead. Then that happens. Um, the person who was down left. Or somebody left because it looked like it was going to fail it was going to fail let's not try and kid this for one second this mission was a failure so the left and that is one of the big problems with trying to farm this so now we have I see one other person I think it's literally just the two of us now so it was gonna fail I said that before I joined partway through a match so Oh, oh, my personal favourite for other reasons why farming this can be a bit of a problem right now is, let me just, this is the third ability, um, big, huge bubble, ah, and anything inside of it will take damage, but again, without that power mod, that happens. But, anyway, as I was trying to say, the, one of the bigger problems is sometimes when you die, you get stuck in it, it'll just fail instantly uh, what's happened here on the other hand is we all went down and it's not coming up with revives every some people here aren't actually here uh, two of the people on that list left from the names at the top somebody else joined in and nope this person's about to go down as well run run yeah Escape. No, don't stay, run! <laughs> Look at them all. Farming this can be a huge problem because that them, once they get swarmed up like that, you're screwed. The best thing to do is what I was trying to do at the beginning. One person basically plays decoy and keeps them all away from everybody else. We start with coming back, but this is definitely a failed mission. But for the record, we did do that and we did win just quick swap to back to earth which is i would have to say a lot more fun than that hellhole of uranus because until you get all of the mods you're pretty much screwed anyway but they all still stu suffer the same problem they'll get stuck in buildings uh, in the rocks literally we'll just find a little cubby hole like this and they'll get stuck in here so at the end of the mission you've got to hunt them all out and hope for the best so anyway 
the first ability is basically a remote detonator. Send it out. It will stick to enemies, but we're going to stick it to this thing so you can actually see it. And I think it's stuck on the outer ring. Yep, there it is. And it actually looks cool. Uh, originally, I couldn't get this thing to work, but turns out you just press the first ability again and it explodes. Let's find some enemies. The second ability is pretty cool, but most of these are literally just a goddamn visual thing, and it's just a smoke trail. Literally, as we fly, we should be leaving smoke trail behind. There it is. Anything that flies into this is meant to take damage. And that, that was us. That is basically a toxic gas cloud. And it works sometimes, but it doesn't do a lot of damage without having the the damage mod here. Unfortunately, yet to find one. Luckily though, the mods have been put into everything. Uh, the interception missions will now actually drop the uh, Arcwing abilities. Abilities? Arcwing mods. Now, the third ability, which I still think is pretty cool, is a giant bubble called Thumper. Anything inside of there, as you can see, there's lots of explosives. You can actually see it comes from a distance and hits it. And, uh, well, it looks like that anyway. Anything inside of here will take damage, but as you can tell by this guy, not a lot. Again, this will be better with the uh, strength mod. Until then, it's pretty poor, which is a damn shame. Because it that is the first Arcwing mission I actually played. I seen that, and I wanted it then. I mean, just you can see that thing so far off. It's not only that, but let's actually get back to playing this game rather than messing around. You can actually detonate it and place it anywhere, so you don't. It's better if you aim at things long distance and set it on its way. Off it goes. It just went off to the right for some reason, and away it goes. And hopefully, I've aimed that right, and this should have a big red bubble around. Eh, there we go. You can also, I mean, the time of them is great, but you can detonate it in midair. Did I hit that? Nope. Now I did. So, for example, we're taking a hiding, so we want to place it over there. We can send it out and then press it again to activate it. And if we fly away, it'll actually activate it in midair. And we actually were getting very bombarded there. And I have a guy with a laser following me. That's where the second ability comes in, because you might have noticed a slight speed increase as well. That works sometimes. I don't know if that's a glitch or not, though. But we should have left a lovely smoke trail, and it didn't do a damn thing to these guys. But we have taken this. Probably, though, the third ability, Thumper, is my favourite. The fourth is basically a giant nuke. And it's all set off exactly the same. You shoot it off, it heads in that direction, and eventually, you will die waiting for it to go off. There it goes, nowhere near where I set it off, but look at the size of it. Again, with the power strength mod, that will be ridiculously powerful. And will come in really handy for farming this Arcwing. That's a pretty silly thing to say, isn't it? But it's true. That's just a fusion core. We are getting... What the hell is going on here? Still a full team. Oops. Is that my smoke tree or was that somebody else? Couldn't have been mine. But this thing, it does still have its issues, but that just comes down to spending the time trying to actually get your hands on these mods. Now that should be a giant bubble and a nuke. 
Even if I miss, there's something behind it that'll... There it goes. And I'll go get A. It's just the farming for this has to be the biggest problem of all. If you can get round the farming, if you have the patience to do the farming, then this is definitely a really, really good Arcwing. Of course, not to forget the math, um, the health this is meant to have. Why if I got... There we go. Not to forget the math behind this. Uh, when it comes to health, this is meant to have 110%. As standard without any mods in the standard one has 115 but this has 120% shield capacity whereas the normal one only has 115 or at least so the wiki says when it comes to power this has got 100% the normal one it doesn't say in percents percentage wise it says 150 to 225 oh we finished but this is also where this uh, abilities start to come in. Sometimes they get stuck behind rocks and such, and instead of going for them, you just send a nuke after them. But the, that has to be one of the nicer things about this. Oh, it's dead. And the nuke hasn't even landed yet. The uh, time it takes to get there is really long, but that looks really nice. But anyway, we'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.